Thank you very much. I, I want to start out by saying thank you to all the citizens who have traveled across the state, who have come here to speak with those of us on this staircase as well as everybody else in this building. I will tell you this, there is no more effective advocate in Harrisburg than the people who travel across this state, the people that each and every one of us on this staircase answer to. You are the most effective lobbyist that will ever enter this building, so thank you for traveling to Harrisburg today. My name is State Representative Matt Gobbler. I represent the 75th District in Clearfield and Elk Counties, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about constitutional rights. And specifically, I want to mention the fact that we know that some constitutional rights are important to protect our other constitutional rights. And I don't know about you, but in my opinion, I think the Second Amendment is the most important right that protects all others. But I'd actually also like to talk to you about the Ninth and Tenth Amendments because I think it is so important that when we look at the, the, the issues that we have in our government, both at the state level and at the federal level, we understand that our federal bureaucracy is so overreaching, is so punitive, it overreaches so far, and our Ninth and Tenth Amendments are designed to protect the citizens and the states from an overreaching federal bureaucracy. And that's why I've introduced, uh, that's why I have introduced the Firearms Freedom Act, which is important because it, it refers to our Ninth and Tenth Amendment rights as well as the Interstate Commerce Clause of the U.S. Constitution to say that when we manufacture or sell, use a product expressly within the borders of this Commonwealth, then the bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. have no business regulating us. And so when, uh, it is important to point out that we have manufacturers right here in this Commonwealth who manufacture firearms. We as citizens of this state have a right to purchase and utilize those firearms in our own defense without the intrusion of the federal government. Unfortunately, the federal government is always overstepping their bounds. And that's why it's important for us to pass this Firearms Freedom Act, which, is, which will, will expressly take back the power by the state of Pennsylvania to ensure that we first and foremost, as Pennsylvanians stand up for our own rights. So I'm, I'm very uh, honored to present that to you today. Um, and briefly, I'd also like to mention one other bill that I've introduced, which is uh, we're talking a bit about the instant check system. And uh, unfortunately, time and again, too often, the instant check system goes down to, for technical difficulties or whatever the case may be. You can't get information about it. You don't know why. And all of a sudden, gun sales in this commonwealth are brought to a standstill. I think that's, that's unreasonable. There needs to be a workaround. I've introduced a bill that would at least enable gun sales to continue if somebody can show a concealed carry permit. It's a common sense workaround. Now, personally, my preference is, and uh, actually uh, Representative Krieger was going to speak to this, if, uh, and there he is, and I'll, I'll, I'll turn the microphone over to him next, but uh, he's going to speak to, I think, an even better plan that I'm proud to support, which would eliminate the PIC system altogether because it is, it is just absolutely unreliable. It has stood in the way of gun sales too many times in this Commonwealth. It's time that we have a better way. So I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. I want to thank you for doing what you do, and you are the most effective advocate speaking to us here in this building. Thank you for traveling across the state. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here. Thank you.